I'm back from getting this freaking thing. I don't even know what's in here. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Um, I'd like to thank Spirit for, you know, uh, for, you know, hosting for a bit while I was out. Though, yeah, first, uh, first episode he did, not that great. Um, but whatever. Uh, let's begin, starting with The Mask. So, the co creator of The Mask, uh, the comic to be more precise, um, has announced that he has in mind a actress to play the latest host of The Mask. Um, he hasn't really talked about who it is, but he has made it very clear he wants the film to be, uh, very much like, uh, the first film, where it is about someone who, you know, gains all this power and really doesn't know what to do with it, um, and kind of goes nuts with it. So... That's going to be good to hear. Um, I really love the original mask, uh, really dig the comic, and I do hope that the whatever um, whatever this film is, it's a little bit closer to the comic, because I kind of want it to be more of a horror comedy. And to anyone who's complaining about it being a female comedian doing it, really, that's kind of a really stupid thing to do, especially since it doesn't matter, you know you know, who the main focus is, you know, the mask is about whoever wears it. In fact, in the comic, one of the people that wore the mask and went by the name the Big Head Killer, which is actually what they call the person wearing the mask, um, yeah, it was a little girl. So I don't really care about the whole gender and everything. And as for female comedians, we don't know who it is, but personally for me, I kind of want to be Amy Poehler. I think she could definitely... Uh, pull off that crazy zaniness in there, um, especially if you've seen the show Parks and Rec, which is a show I really enjoy. So, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think, though? Who would you want to see uh, wear the mask? Next, we have Sam Wilson, Captain America, almost being in Far From Home. Yeah, it was a good thing that they didn't put him in. Um, as cool as it would be to see him in there, it wouldn't be right. You know, when you're introducing the new Captain America, he needs to be the main focus. All right? And Spider-Man's not where you put him. We have to probably wait until the Disney Plus show's out, but better place to stay, uh, see him there instead of him being a supporting character. Plus, we already had Fury and Happy in there. We, we don't need too many characters outside of the MCU showing up. Next up, we have Bill Sankiewicz's Batman story finally being released. I'm pretty sure I just butchered his name. I apologize. So, yeah, a few decades ago, uh, Bill wrote a story known as City of Crime, and it was going to be a 12-part storyline starting in Batman Detective Comics issue 801, but unfortunately it never went through, and the story went through several alterations. But, after all these years, it will be released online for free. So, if you're interested, go check it out. Next, we have Todd Phillips saying that his Joker film is going to his fans off. Yeah, um, he talked about how the film is going to be done and how, yeah, he is pretty sure he's going to be dealing with a lot of backlash. Um, he brings up how the film is very different. They do not follow most of uh, the elements that we remember the Joker for. And honestly, I'm okay with that. Uh, again, because it's an Elseworld story, I expected them to go through some changes, some more radical than others. And, hell, we've all seen some really insane changes in Elseworlds. I mean, the ending Superman Red Sun was pretty frickin' weird. Um, but yeah, um, the one thing for sure that they said is that it's about someone becoming the Joker, and 
as long as they keep the spirit of what makes the Joker Joker, that being the amount of insanity that someone can suffer from from one bad day, I'm okay with that. And, you know, it does show there are elements of the Joker in there. It does feel like I'm watching, you know, a Joker-related product. So, yeah, I'm still up for it. What about you guys? So, with the return of Legion of Superheroes, we got some redesigns. And all of them look pretty good. Um, my only real gripe is that some of them do look a little older than they should, um, particularly Matter Eater Lad. I always kind of preferred them looking more like teenagers. Uh, also, still not big with, you know, teenage Jonathan Kent. But whatever, I could talk about that later on uh, in another video. But, yeah, it still bugs me. But besides that, the other designs look pretty good, and, you know, it, what do you guys think? Are you big fans of Legion of Superheroes? Are you excited to see them back? And what do you think of the new designs? Okay. You either want to stop here or skip ahead to uh, the spoiler-free review. Because I'm about to drop some spoilers from Far From Home. Alright, gonna give you a sec. All right, let's go. So, in the end of Far From Home, uh, in the second end credit scene, it was revealed that Nick Fury was actually Talos the Scroll. And a lot of fans have been wondering, how long has he been Fury? And director John Watts has revealed that not that long. Um, they did confirm that, yes, that was, you know, the real Nick Fury after the events of Endgame. And that Talos has only been Nick Fury for only a few months. So to anyone who's been, you know, throwing in theories about, you know, has Nick Fury been Talos this whole time? Has there been, like, you know, did he switch off during, uh, you know, Infinity War? Like, you know, what's going on here? No, it's only been a few months. So, yeah, to anyone who was wondering, there's your answer. Now for a spoiler-free review of Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, I really enjoyed the film. I thought the story was pretty good, I thought the action was great, and the special effects were pretty damn cool. Um, like when it came to my problems with it, um, there will be two big ones that I'll talk about right now. The others I'll save for the Marvel Thon video that I'm going to do with Spirit Man. The first being Flash Thompson. I still hate this interpretation, it just bugs me so much. And I really feel like, you know, they could have just done something better with him. And I'm going to, you know, talk more about it in the Marvelthon video. But I feel like he shouldn't have been, you know, snapped away. I feel like he should have been one of the people that survived. And there's a whole story arc I actually have in mind for a character like that. Um, I'll talk, again, talk more about that in the Marvelthon. But he was just so freaking annoying. And every time he suffered, I did chuckle a little bit, but not enough to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'd keep him around. Um, also, uh, you know, there were, I feel like when it came to Mysterio and Pierre's relationship, they rushed it a little bit. Like, really, we don't really spend too much time with them. And obviously, when it comes to the twist of Mysterio, yeah, that wasn't the big surprise that he was the villain. I'm not spoiling anyone here. I already talked about it previously in a video that, yeah, it was announced that he was the villain. But how he performed is very well done, and I will say how they uh, his big scheme is actually pretty good, and wow, it is insane. Uh, I know some fans are probably disappointed a little bit about some of the parts that were going on the reveal, but for me, I think it worked. And yeah, again, like I just had a lot of fun with it, and... In the end, I think that's what this film was. A fun movie that, you know, after the insanity and the intensity of Endgame, I think we really all needed. Um, if I had any other, you know, gripes with it, I do feel like, you know, when it came to uh, the whole thing with uh, Iron Man, I do feel like they kind of overdid it a little bit. But, you know, I'll, again, I'll talk about that more in the Marvel-thon. Uh, for grade, I'll probably give it a A-. minus. I really enjoyed it. All right, what was in this box that was so freaking important? A pair of red glasses. Okay. Um, set player. Weird.
here. Uh, the hell? No, 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 no. Crap, 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 crap. 